If you thought that the archaeologists in Egypt stopped excavating besides Saqqara or Luxor, you're sorely mistaken. A mission of Egyptian archaeologists have discovered 250 tombs in the province of Soha, according to Egyptian's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, who announced this exciting news on Tuesday evening. My name's Kaylee, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. The archaeological mission of the Supreme Council of Antiquities is part of the archaeological documentation and registration project of the rock tombs of the Al Hamidia necropolis in the governorate of Sohag. The province of Sohag is situated in Upper Egypt, in the south. For those who don't know, the south is called Upper Egypt and the north is called Lower Egypt and it all has to do with the flow of the Nile. Where the Nile starts is Upper Egypt, because the land is situated on a higher elevation and the lower region is where the Nile Delta merges with the Mediterranean Sea. The newly discovered tombs range in age from the end of the Old Kingdom around 2200 BCE up until the end of the Ptolemaic period around 30 BCE. The Ptolemaic dynasty ended with the death of the most famous female pharaoh of all time, Cleopatra. The graves have been discovered in the mountain region of Sohag's Al Hamidia necropolis. The tombs had been carved out of the side of a mountain on many different levels. The tombs dating from the Old Kingdom have a well and a burial room, and some of them have several funerary pits. The tombs dating from the Ptolemaic dynasty have a sloping corridor that ends in a funeral hall. Secretary General of the Egyptian General Council of Antiquities, Mostafa Waziri, told news outlets that one of the Old Kingdom tombs consists of an entrance leading to a cross hall and a burial shaft in the southeast side, which is a sloped passage leading to a small burial chamber. The cross hall featured an imaginary door with the remains of hieroglyphic inscriptions. Inside the same tomb, they discovered scenes depicting the owner of the tomb slaughtering animals as sacrifices and people making offerings for the deceased. The burial shaft and chamber were reused again in later eras. During the excavations, the team led by senior antiquities official of Upper Egypt, Mohammed Abdul Badi, discovered many ceramic vessels, objects, and small spherical vessels that were found in the funerary foundation as miniature symbolic deposits, had traces of yellowish paint on the outside. Some of these objects were dedicated to ancient Egyptian deities, and some of the vessels were used in daily life. They discovered the remnants of a round metal mirror as well. Discoveries dating from the 6th dynasty were made as well. Among these were small alabaster vessels, animal bones, human bones, and limestone remnants which most likely would have been the funerary plates or steles. Over the course of the past few years, the number of discovered tombs in the area, which stretches from Nagal Shaikh in the south to Al Kazendra in the north in the province of Sohag, has now reached 300. These newly found 250 were a massive discovery. This particular collection of tombs represent the rulers and staff of the 9th province of Upper Egypt, which is an important administrative center in ancient Egypt due to its location between the capital of Memphis in the north and Aswan in the south. Aswan is of course most known due to its stone quarries. The granite stones for the pyramids, colossal statues and shrines were mostly quarried in Aswan, and many obelisks of ancient Egypt were carved directly out of bedrock in Aswan as well. Proof of that is of course the unfinished obelisk of Hatshepsut, which I covered briefly in my deep dive about Hatshepsut's incredible life. If you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link in the description down below, and I'll leave it in the end card in the end of the video. But with that said, you've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click the bell icon for notifications every time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, the links in the description down below, or click the end card in the end of this video. I'd also like to thank my patrons, Richard, Floyd, Scott, James, and NGC6543. And with that said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, where we will take a deep dive into the ziggurat of Earth.